the finale is here. Hey! you're living here and today we are wrapping up this roller coaster of a case of 2021 series one we don't need much honestly we pretty much have everything we need i think so let's just finish off the case all right here's the final part of the case let's finish this off let's just get anything in here we've pretty much got everything we need so there's ryan gets laugh the best captain 1000 there we go he's almost at a thousand right yeah 965 ryan gets laugh so there's a cool canvas cover Okay. So yeah, we've pretty much gotten everything in here, so I'm pleased with this apart from the young guns being all weird, but it's been a good case, so Blundquist, NHL Worldwide. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna do a recap. Maybe I will, I don't know. Like a video recap showing everything. I don't know yet. Probably not. But Andre Svechikov, Dazzlers, blue. There we go, Svechikov. That's not too bad right there. Okay, and that's probably the last Dazzlers of the case. So there's that. Okay, Young Guns. What do we got here? Is that Lindstrom? Yep, Gustav Lindstrom. Young Guns. So there you go. That's a decent one there. I already got him, so that's a duplicate. So there's that. Okay, cheering on here. All right, let's see what we get in this pack. Okay, we got Max Pacioretty, UD Portraits. Packs everywhere. There you go, Pacioretty, UD Portraits, and base. So yeah, coming down to it, I am pleased with this case. It is a roller coaster, though. I almost sold in this case. So. David Pasternak, predominant. All right. Yeah, it's been a wild case, so let's see how we end it here. We got, oh my gosh, eight Canvas Young Guns. Timothy Liljegren. I guess I'm PCing Liljegren. Canvas Young Guns. If you've seen prior parts, you'll see why I'm going to PC him now. Jeez, I've pulled like four or five cards of him this case. So awesome right there. I'll take it. Cool. All right. Continuing on here. Hey, that's a good one there. All right, I like Little Jagrin. Okay, see so what we get here. We got Nick Bodin, Young Guns. So another dupe there, another defensive prospect there, Bodin. Okay, this case has been good, so. All right, we got Zach Wierenski, UD Game Jersey. And that one's a little different there. So there's that, that's interesting. Game use piece for Wierenski there, okay. <sighs> Oh, look, there's a checklist there. We got an NHL Worldwide. Eh, Nathan McKinnon, don't have that one. Canada. All right. Continuing on here. We have, uh, we have a French card. No, Quinn Hughes Beauty Portraits. There we go. Quinn Hughes Portraits. Okay. All right. Next one up here. We got another Young Guns. It is uh, Arnim Zagadulin. Young Guns. So that's not too great, but there you go. There's Zagadulin Young Guns. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if we don't pull Lafreniere again, I'm totally fine with it. Honestly, this case has been fine. So, Dobson debuted eight, October 8th, 2019 against the Oilers. But yeah, we're uh, more than halfway through now. This is it for 2021 here. And we got John Carlson, UD Canvas. He had a great year. He had uh, 75 points in 69 games for John Carlson there. So, there you go. Okay, what do we got here? We got one of those rookie retrospective. Nick Suzuki, rookie retrospective. Okay, all right. Don't know how many young guns we need. Um, maybe there'll still be a surprise in here. Maybe there will be. We'll see. We got another canvas, Mark Giordano. So there's a canvas. That's the Heritage Classic game there. Mark Giordano. Huh, okay. All right, we're coming down to it here. We have, oh my gosh. What the heck is this case? Three autos? It's 89. That's Tuck. That's pretty good. Alex Tuck, signature sensations. Three signature sensations. What the heck is this case? Okay, very bizarre case. This case is messed up. Oh my gosh. But there you go, Tuck, signature sensations. Eight canvas young guns, three autos. K. Well, there you go. Another auto. That's a good one, too. What the heck? He was great in the playoffs for Vegas there, so. Yeah, that's kind of bizarre. Oh, another young guns here. We have Igor Korshkov. Young Guns, I think that's the first time I pulled Korshkov, actually. Again, he was the first pick in the second round of 16. I was really hoping Leaf would pick to bring it or Carter Hart, but they picked a 20-year-old overager from Russia that was a relative unknown, and yeah, he's probably going to be like a bottom six guy at best, even though they got guys like Mikheyev, Barabanov, other Russians that are ahead of him, so I don't have too high of expectations for this guy, unfortunately, but I mean, he could be a decent bottom six power forward. We'll see, but Igor Korshkov. And he got rid of the Y as well when he came over. He used to be Yegor, but there you go. Okay, now we're really coming down to it. We only have six packs in this case. 
six packs left from 288 packs. We got French Variation. There it is. Miko Koskinen. French Variation. There you go. All right. Five more packs. Three autos. What the heck? That's bizarre. Oh, here we go. Another Young Guns. Getting a lot of Young Guns here. Emil Larmy. Haven't pulled that one either. Young Guns. I'm pretty sure he backed up some games in the bubble. I'm pretty sure. At least I saw him as a backup. But there you go, Larmy. Again, not too great numbers there. I mean, he's another maybe. Again, with these third and fourth string goalies. Maybe if they get the chance, they'll uh, pan out. But there's Larmy. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we get this pack. Here we got a predominant. Claude Giroux, and the base is building up there, but Claude Giroux, predominant. Final three packs of the case. What is this? Portraits? Yeah, it's portraits. Okay. Patrick Kane, UD portraits. All right. Frick my bum. This is it. This is the second last pack here. Well, almost it. Second last pack, but see we get here. Another Young Guns. It is Bowen Byram. That's a good duplicate to get. Young Guns. So there you go. One of the better ones there. Bowen Byram. Nice. Okay, and the final pack. Let's see what we get in this final pack. Okay. All right. Looks like we just got a portrait. Matthew Kachuk. All right. So yeah, guys, there is the case of 2021 Series 1. The last box there, that was an all right box. I'm still shocked we got three autos. So yeah, I'm fairly pleased with the case and that final box was all right. So there's that. All right, let's do a mini recap here because this case was wild. Over delivering in some aspects and under delivering in others, including the Young Gun set. We don't have the Young Gun set, but we'll get to that soon. So starting off here, we got the Rookie Retrospective. We got 11 out of 15 plus the jersey so there is that 11 out of 15 for the set for those debut date 14 out of 20 they get a jersey version of those nhl worldwide die cut we got 24 out of 30 for the set plus two die cuts so 26 total we got the kucherov and lundquist die cuts predominant we got 24 out of 35 and we did not get a gold predominant but we got 24 out of 35 for the set portraits did not get the set we got 46 total 45 out of 50 for the set little dragoon's the only duplicate there but did not get the set for the portraits dazzlers only 11 out of 50 should be getting 12 blues if they're 1 in 24 but we did get the two pinks so we got 13 total so there's the dazzlers now for the canvas cards we have 40 out of 90 for the base and 8 out of 30 for the young guns so that's definitely an over deliverance for the young guns we should have only gotten six from a case but somehow got eight which is pretty surprising pretty solid ones as well so Including the Lafreniere. Eight instead of six. I'll take it. I think we got two less regulars because of that. If you do the math equations, I think. Maybe. I don't feel like doing math right now. As for the French, we got 11 total with nine base and two young guns. So there's the nine base there. So there's that. And the two young guns, we got Ingram and Coglin. So. so there's the French cards. 11. Of course, there's uh, 250 cards in the set. So yeah, nowhere near the set for that. Now, exclusives, high glosses, and variations. We got two UD exclusives to 100. We got the Provorov and the Jonas Johansson young guns. So not bad on that front to get an exclusive young guns. We got one high gloss, Peter Morazic high gloss to 10. And we got one suit variation of OV. And yes, this is not going anywhere. <laughs> So there you go, variation of OV probably one of my favorite pulls from the case. Now for clear cuts, we got three base and one young guns. We got Pearson, Neil, McDavid, and Liljegren. So those are really good ones there, especially that McDavid. Liljegren is not too bad either. And we got one of the PETG cards of uh, the St. Louis Blues there. So those are expected in a case. They're one in 288 packs. So very good on the clear cuts there. Now for hits, we got 10 jersey cards, including the Sam Sonoff, but nine UD game jerseys. So yeah, we got plenty of UD game jerseys from that. I think we're only expecting eight, I think. We got nine and then another jersey. And then the autographs. They're one in 276, but screw the odds. I'll take three. Tuck, Drieger, and Jalmerson. So definitely over delivering there. Should expect one from a case. So. So that's pretty darn good. And finally, the Young Guns. 72 Young Guns. 49 out of 50 for the set. We're missing Nick Eatler's cousin, Alex True, the big center on the Sharks. We're missing him. 225, I believe, is the card number. And there's no triple. So did not get the set. It's fine. Got the two Lafreniers. That's what really counts right there. And there's all the Young Guns there. 
Didn't get a dupe of McMichael, which is kind of disappointing. Got two Robertsons, which is nice. Both Robertsons, Nick and Jason, got two ofs. But yeah, I'm fine with that. Didn't get the set, though. True is not a big one by any means, so. But yeah, guys, there is the case of 2021 Series 1. Definitely a fun case. Unfortunate about these young guns. Yeah, I will be selling the stuff that I'm not planning on keeping or giving to people, but I'm not sure what that's going to be. The Lafreniere's are not available. Quite a few of the young guns will probably be available, but I'll have to say that they're rounded corner, but that was a good case i really enjoyed that very up and down my feelings on that but if the corners were fine i would have been thrilled with this obviously i believe we're probably in the green from all the polls for sure like this definitely helps and then we got like the mcdavid clear cut and some other really nice stuff so i mean we're in the green could not say that for sba i don't even remember how much in polls i got from sba maybe like 40 percent from a case and this is definitely over 100 percent. there's that that's not really the intention for this break but it's a positive. Yeah, guys, stay tuned for more breaks to come. And as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.